Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to my TED Talk on why having a dog is better than having a kid. All right, well first off, in any sort of relationship, you're bound to say something very wrong, something you'll regret, and dogs, they won't remember. They won't bring it up weeks or months later and try to use it against you. Another thing, dogs can't drive, so they'll never ask to borrow your car and wreck it or just get a dent on it and never tell you about it. That's not something you have to worry about. And another thing that dogs offer that kids don't is dogs require very little food. Some kids are known to eat up to three meals a day. Dogs you can get away if they're small just giving them one and a half or two. You know what would be even less responsibility really is living in in the woods just alone you know with with nothing to take care of, just, you know, just a couple rifles, some handheld, and enough bullets and knowledge to wipe out hundreds of animals for food hi guys thanks for tuning into my ted talk where i'm going to be smelling various objects from my windowsill all right well let's see what's first oh okay we got a uh, banana peel let's give it a go you know it's sort of a um a fruity kind of scent that I get from the banana peel. Um, I think that the the yellow really does come through in the in the scent. If you look closely, we've got some browning going on. Uh, probably a recently peeled banana browning. Um, I think that totally comes through too. Let's see what else we got. All right, we got here. We go. This is the shirt I wore to work yesterday, so should smell like straight up barbecue. Oh, yep, that's right. It's got that great combination of barbecue and sweat that you love to have all over you while you're working eight hour shifts. It's a great piece to throw right at the windowsill so it can get some fresh air when you're working the next day and you are not gonna wash it. All right, last but not least, we've got some Febreze. All right, let's 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 see what it's like. <laughs> All right, well, if you look here, we've got, this is the heavy duty Febreze with two times odor eliminating power. I, I definitely could smell the first um, power of elimination but I don't, I, don't, I don't know about the second one. I, I feel like this would be mild duty Febreze. Yeah. Well, that's all we've got for today. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hi, guys, and thanks for tuning into my TED Talk where I'm going to be asking my friend Jeremy if he's the Zodiac Killer, infamous for having killed up to 37 Northern Californians during the 60s and 70s. <clears throat> hey, Jeremy. Uh, what you need? I was just wondering, are you, um, the Zodiac Killer, infamous for killing up to 37 Northern Californians during the 60s and 70s? Oh, me? What are you talking about? Come on! No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I get it sounds crazy. It's just, you know, you're always wearing that shirt that says, I am the Zodiac Killer, infamous for having killed up to 37 Northern Californians during the 60s and 70s, and, you know. Bro, it's ironic. Come on. You know me. You know me. I love that irony shit.